On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, Conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt-Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. The Norzelia Consortium is formed, a neutral organization that oversees fair trade of iron and salt. Finally, peace came to the realm. Thirty years pass. Now, a new bond is set to be formed between the Grand Duchy of Esfrost and House Wolffort of Glenbrook whose power in the kingdom is second only to that of the royal family itself. Lord Saranoa? Good morning. Congratulations, my lord. The future of Wolford is looking brighter than ever. Today's the day, is it not? We're all ready for the big moment. Thank you, everyone. Young Master. Lord Serenoa. So, you were here after all. Ah, Benedict. It would seem word has reached the people already. You can thank Eridor for that. He couldn't refrain from blabbing the news to anyone who would listen. I'll have a talk with him after. This is a momentous day. Not merely for our domain, but for all of Glenbrook. I do not think it possible to keep it a secret. This is well and true, my lord. But you must consider your betrothed's lineage. I'm well aware of the situation, Benedict. I cannot say for sure what repercussions this may have. What I do know is that the people rejoice for us and harbor hope for the future. As the future Lord of House Wolfort, I must rise to the occasion. Fine resolve, my lord. As House Steward, I will do all in my power to assist. Thank you, Benedict. It is heartening to have the support of my father's right-hand man. Shall we head to the port then, my lord? So soon? I had thought we would have more time. The river's waters have risen with the heavy rainfall earlier this week. And given the wind, I think it likely that Esfrost's ship will arrive ahead of schedule. <laughs> you never cease to amaze. Very well then, let us be on our way.
I thank you for the escort. You are free to go. But Lady Frederica, there is no one here to receive you. He will be along shortly, no doubt. If I have heard true, he is not the type to keep a lady waiting. By your leave, then. We wish you everlasting happiness, my lady. Thank you. I shall work hard, both for my new home and for my motherland. Please let brother, the Archduke, know that. As you command, my lady. We leave the rest to you, Gila. I shan't let you down. Phew, Glenbrook at last. Finally, we can take a moment of respite from our long journey. That said, it would seem we've arrived ahead of schedule. I much prefer it to being late. This is a momentous day for Esfrost. And for the entire realm. We cannot afford to make a bad first impression. I agree. Which is why we cannot have you looking so tense. Why don't we go for a bit of a stroll? A fine idea. After all, this may be the last time in a while that I am free to do as I please. Most are not inclined to grant liberty to one of Roselle's heritage, such as me. You brought that pendant with you? Of course. It is the only memento I have of my mother. <laughs> Thank you kindly, little lady. Letting a whole boatload of guards go back home was a stroke of genius. We heard tell you'd be here, and we wanted to be the ones to welcome you. The winds of fortune are blowing today, aren't they, Pa? Brigands! Stand back, Frederica. I shan't let them have you. What do you intend to do with us? Make your little hostages is all. And wring every last coin out of the duchy and house Wolfort. What's with that pink hair, though? Ya Rosellen? And that lady looks like she's from Hyzant. Did we go after the wrong boat? Impossible! The ship was full of as frosty soldiers. Enough! I am without a doubt. Gah! Have you bandits no shame? Attacking two innocent women? And just who in the hell are you?
You need to know who. Surrender now, and we can resolve this peacefully. Do you even know who you're talking to, boy? <laughs> we don't do anything peacefully. Got that right. But if you surrender now, we'll spare your miserable lives. It appears they're not keen to listen. Indeed. They don't strike me as the type to be swayed by logic. Quit your whimpering and just accept you're done for. Once Travis, his daughter Trish, and their mighty crew set their sights on you, <laughs> ain't nothing you can do. Ah, enough of this! You'll regret ruining our plans! Two arms, my lord. Stand back, the both of you. No, we fight together. I brought this upon us through my indiscretion. Pray allow me to help. My lady. I am a teacher of the arcane arts, and Frederica is a most apt pupil. I can assure you we shan't be a burden. Then I ask for your support from the back lines. And you shall have it. Why didn't you tell me you were having such fun? I would have joined you sooner. What are you doing here? Let us talk later. Now, I believe we have some lawless ruffians to rout. I hope you adults are ready to learn a hard lesson. You'll need more than numbers to beat us. Their confidence is admirable, at least. Orders, my lord? Give them no quarter. We cannot allow brigands to have the run of Woolfort. Just who are these people, anyway? Now, Benedict. Think you got what it takes to best my family? Ha! Fools, the lot of you. <laughs> Give them a fight, man. Distinguish yourself in battle, and you'll receive your due reward. We do not take kindly to thievery here in Woolfort. You will pay for your crimes. Forward! You think you're all high and mighty, huh? Well, we'll show you we're no slouches ourselves. Make way. We're just trying to make a living here. You're wide open. Damn it! Our land has no place for those who disregard the law. There is no mercy on the battlefield.
All for victory. Much appreciated. For victory! Brace yourself! Shall we make it a contest, my friend? Let us see who brings down more of these ruffians. I think not. Whatever would I tell your father if harm were to befall you? These are no ordinary men. Let us remain calm and clear-headed. That is our surest path to victory. I shall do what I can. We must defend ourselves from this danger that threatens us. I fight for peace. With the powers in me. You're ready. From where shall we strike? Wait your turn! shall prevail. Your wounds are healed. This will help. Let us pry out their weakness. Just as I planned. I fight for peace. Shall we strike? Wait your turn. Ha ah! ha. It's not over yet. Is no mercy on the battlefield. My turn. 
Just as I planned. Allow me. Cool heads shall prevail. Your wounds are healed. This will help. I fight for peace. Here I come! It worked! Oh, no! What to do now? I'll try this. For the honor of House Wolfort. Ha ha! You've made a grave mistake. Point me at him. Take that. No. Bullseye. I shall try my level best. All for victory. Our victory is assured. We mustn't lose heart. Allow me. Fight for peace. Blaze, heed my call. Uh. Oh. I got careless. Ah. <clears throat> my turn. You don't stand a chance. Damn that hurt. For the honor of House Wolfort. I'll make this quick. This is good. Make way. Perfect opportunity. Ah! Bullseye. I must find a way. That seemed to work. We mustn't lose heart. Your wounds are healed. This will be of great use. I got careless. This rate, I... Sorry! 
crush your goal. Brace yourself. Yes. From where shall we strike? Perish. To lead, I must grow. Make way. Yeah. Oh. I shall try my level best. We mustn't lose heart. Your wounds are healed. It hurts. Two ashes. For a better world. I got careless. What to do now? Take that! Did you see that? For my kingdom! Defeat is not an option. I'll make this quick. That hit the mark. What a mess. Perfect opportunity. Oh, what? Let us pry out their weakness. Now. You little. That seems for the future of House Wolfort. Shall we begin? Your wounds are healed. You have my gratitude. One step closer to our hope. I will end this. Here I come! Ah. Your luck <laughs> has run out! Damn! Ah. Ooh. This won't be easy. My lance strikes true! You little... You'll rue this day! You... Defeat is not an option. Damn it all! This can't be! Wait, I know that face! That's the Wolfort Lordling! What's that you say? Wolfort? It can't be. What are they doing here so damn soon? This ain't what we planned for. Let's get out of here. For a bunch of no good thieves, at least they know when they're in over their heads. I would have preferred to apprehend them and see them atone for their crimes, but uh, so be it. Your bride-to-be is safe. Isn't that what matters? My bride-to-be? My sincerest apologies. I had no idea we were being trailed by bandits. But where are my manners? 
I am Frederica of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. I have come to fulfill our agreement. I am honored to join you in marriage and to call House Walfort my new home. The honor and pleasure is mine, Lady Frederica. Pray forgive me for not introducing myself sooner. <laughs> to think you'd fight at each other's side in battle before exchanging your vows. Though, I dare say that it bodes well for Wolford that its new lord and lady makes such a fine team. Your Highness! Here, here you are. Why, the entire Kingsguard has been scouring the land for you. Did you sneak out of the castle again, Roland? When I heard my best friend's betrothed was arriving in Glenbrook, I simply couldn't miss the occasion. While we appreciate the sentiment, perhaps you should have said something to the king. <laughs> I'm the least of my dear father's concerns. Though I suspect Huet will think otherwise. I suppose I'd best be on my way back. Rest easy, my fair lady Frederica. You are in good hands here. I look forward to celebrating your union. Till we meet again. His ring bore the insignia of Glenbrook's royal family. Could that have been... Prince Roland, King Regna's younger son. So a lord and a prince drove off a band of brigands by their own hand. What a fascinating nation we've come to, Frederica. This is Chila, my tutor and attendant. Famed is the martial prowess of the Wolforts. It was an honor to be able to witness it firsthand. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Serenoa of House Wolfort. And this is Benedict, trusted steward of my family. It is my honor to serve Lord Serenoa in any and all matters. On behalf of House Wolfort, I welcome you to our domain. You may think this is an odd question, my lord, but I ask it nonetheless. What does the color of my hair mean to you? I find your courage more noteworthy than your appearance. You held your own out there on the battlefield. You flatter me, my lord. I apologize if I was out of line. Far from it. House Wolfert values the strength and courage of one and all. I have lived a sheltered life in Esfrost, but I promise I will do all in my power to make myself useful. That makes two of us. Fortunately, there is plenty of time for us to learn together. Yes, together. Lady Frederica, everyone awaits. Allow us to escort you back to Castle Wolfort. Thank you, Benedict. It would be my honor. Serenoa of Glenbrook's House Wolfort, 
and Frederica of Esfrost will unite in marriage to strengthen the ties between their two nations. In doing so, the newfound allies hope to hold their own in the face of Hyzant's salt monopoly, which continues even now, decades after the war. Who could have known that this was but a prelude to an uprising that would engulf all of Norzelia in the flames of war? <laughs>